how me and No ID linked up was, uh, it was kind of like a blessing. It was kind of like, uh, it's one of them things you don't really hear about, but it's like, I put my song on SoundCloud and I guess he said he had just started a and r again um, cause for some years he hadn't been doing it himself. He had been doing it for like, you know, other, you know, other people have been doing it for him, interns and stuff like that, you know, right? So he said he logged on to SoundCloud one day and I guess through the SoundCloud algorithm or whatever, he heard my song. He hit up my manager and hit up me, DM'd me. It was like, yo, I love what y'all doing. Would love to help y'all do whatever y'all working on or whatever case may be. And uh, he was steady telling us like, yo, how come nobody in the city know about y'all, blah, blah, blah. And we was like, uh, uh, we just like hermits working or whatever case may be. And he was just like, oh, I gotta fly y'all out here. Um, so we go um, out to LA, we meet up with no ID. He says, yo, you know, I heard the song or whatever the case may be, do y'all got anything else? And we all look at each other like kind of confused. With it. And we're like, yo, what you mean? Like anything else? He was just like, yeah, I heard this one song, but I didn't hear none of y'all other stuff. He's like, well, you told us you said, oh, it's on SoundCloud. So we assumed you listened to everything else. He's like, nah, my SoundCloud not working. So we, and we all looked at each other. We was like, yo, you flew us out here on one song? He was like, yeah, or whatever the case may be. So we played him all the other records and he was like, oh yeah. He was like, I just have to make sure y'all Y'all real, y'all got what y'all got going on. Like, y'all really made these records. And we was like, oh, yeah, I'm like. Then he goes on to tell us some story about how, you know, people make this one song, then they come to find out they didn't even really make the song and uh, whatever the case may be. But that's how we met. It was SoundCloud. Like, I posted SoundCloud algorithms. Yeah, shout out to y'all, because that's how we linked up. That happened around April. That happened uh, April of this year. He, uh, he linked up with us and uh, he hit us up and, Fast forward now, you know what I mean? And what, six months, seven, seven months later, you know, we uh working with him and he he's like really believes in us. So that's pretty dope to have like a Chicago legend, like believe in what we're doing. And, you know what I'm saying? Just because we put something off of SoundCloud, you know what I mean? The odds is like, what could the odds be? You know what I mean? So some things I've learned from No ID um, was just how to maneuver like the industry and just kind of how to play the business aspect of it, of how you, negotiate, you know, contracts or how you negotiate finances or something like that, or how you, you know, move through the industry, like how you you, you, you take something now, you know what I'm saying? Because in the long run, it's going to benefit you in some other way or whatever the case may be. Artistically, um, I think him and my producer, Mike Lee, have shared more things producer wise, you know what I'm saying? I'm a producer as well, so I'm absorbing it, you know what I mean? But because, you know, right now, just the way we creating right now and how we going through and making music right now, the stuff that he asks, like, oh, you know, change the keys in your songs and stuff like that. And he tells us how to like certain keys and we should play stuff in because of what we do or whatever the case may be. But for the most part, no ID kind of like stays out of the way. He kind of likes, he likes what we do. And he's a very, he's a very like hands off type of person. You know what I mean? He just like kind of lets you create and lets you do, let you do you. He don't want to interfere that much, especially, you know, cause he saw what we had going on. He tries not to interfere too much and he likes what we do. So he doesn't want to really tamper with that. So he just lets us create and stuff like that. So he's like Yoda, you know what I'm saying? Like he's definitely like Yoda, comes through every now and then, drops some gems and we don't see him for a while again. But, you know, definitely uh, learned a lot of things um, from no ID, whether it's producer-wise or how to navigate like the industry or how to move or whatever the case may be. So it's pretty dope.